Mein Name ist ähm, Philipp Westermeier. Ich, darf zum, ich gehöre zum Mentorenkreis des New Media Accelerators und wurde gebeten, das erste Startup sozusagen hier einzuführen. Ähm, ich glaube, es ist jetzt immer so, dass jedes Startup hier einen, einen Mentor sozusagen hat. Und ähm, ich komme aus dem Performance Marketing in den letzten Jahren, sehr viel im Online-Marketing gemacht. Und Atriba macht das halt auch und ähm, macht da was was dringend nötig ist, was extrem schwierig ist, was ähm, eine enorme Herausforderung ist. Ähm, und zwar nennt sich das ähm, Attribution Modeling, also verstehen, ähm, wie Werbung eigentlich wirklich funktioniert. Mehr darf ich dazu nicht sagen, weil es würde dann viel zu lang und dann werde ich euren Pitch kaputt machen. Also ich glaube vor allen Dingen extrem an die Jungs, das Thema ist nicht einfach, aber es wird irgendwann geknackt werden und ich drücke euch die Daumen, dass ihr es knackt. Ähm, erklärt erstmal vielleicht allen Leuten hier, was eigentlich Attribution Modeling ist und was Attriba macht. Ähm, insofern viel Spaß. Uh, so, yeah, hi. I'm going to switch to English now. Um, we plan to have an intro song, which you can hear in the background a little bit, but. Uh, it's too much, too much, sicher, dicker. You can, you know, I'm not going to sing it now to you. So I'm just going to go ahead with the pitch. So, uh, hi, my name is Janos. I'm co founder of Atriba. And um, I'm going to start off, kick off with some interesting numbers. Digital advertisers are estimated to spend 200 billion US dollars in 2016 in online marketing. 76% of these advertisers use incorrect methods for evaluating their marketing performance. That means a lot of money being flushed down the toilet. We solve this. But let's talk about something more fun for the beginning, right? Who remembers this? Everybody? Yeah. Germany winning the World Cup 2014. Mario Götze, this guy here, scoring the last goal in the overtime. Matter of fact, I think he won the whole World Cup all on its own. Imagine, I would suggest, in the Football Bundesliga, only the player who scored a goal should get paid. What would you think? Sounds stupid, right? But that is exactly how online marketing is being measured by these 76% of online marketeers. Imagine the different players being online marketing channels that a customer who bought, a, bought something at Zalando, for example, has contact to. Today, customers have contact to more than one marketing campaign, usually before they purchase a product. And only evaluating and only looking at the last marketing contact is wrong. It's like only paying Mario Götze for the winning of the World Cup. In addition to this problem, <coughs> online marketing has another huge problem. It's that it's highly complex. There are many different players, campaign types, channels, new ones being added constantly. This is just an overview of the players in the display advertising space. I think Matrigo should be here somewhere as well. And um, it's, just, it's just a lot of different players and it's just display advertising. Imagine you have to work with or do ads on Facebook, Twitter, Bing or Google. You would have to look into four different dashboards on a regular basis to figure out what's going on. That's insane. We are not talking about a niche industry here. We are talking about a 200 billion US dollar industry. And we solved this. We allow our clients to go from this, where only the last marketing contact is being credited, where only Mario Götze gets paid, to data-driven and factual performance evaluation of all the marketing contacts. This allows our online marketing managers, our clients, to figure out which are the players who have contributed how much to winning the game. This is our dashboard. We pull in all the different cross-channel data out of the different channels and, of course, with our own tracking. So we take the complexity out of online marketing, just one dashboard, not four dashboards, and we display the true and factual campaign performance. We apply something called attribution modeling. I will not go into the details <laughs> because you probably fall asleep, but I might explain it afterwards if you're interested. And that is really powerful because it allows our clients to understand how 
the campaigns are working in cross-channel contexts. And they can adjust their budget accordingly and increase their marketing ROI and profit. Integrating other ad platforms with Atriba is really easy. It's just a couple of clicks. Integrating other tracking systems or e-commerce platforms. It sounds all really simple, but under the hood there's some advanced data science and big data tech going on to conduct this process of attribution modeling. We have 11 clients for whom we are tracking. Three of those are paying us money. And uh, that is, we're making revenue with them. And that is pre-product launch. We just launched a product uh, an hour ago. And we have further selection of leads here. Um, not solely B2C companies, but also B2B companies, which is interesting. So we're not solely focused on e-commerce and B2C cases. And we have strategic partnerships um, planned with Hammers Next Tech, being e-commerce service provider to companies such as Adidas, Lee, and Wrangler. And we got a cooperation agreement with Minubo. Minubo is a BI as a service uh, company, which has about 100 clients uh, of exactly what we are looking for as clients. Our clients love us because we are very lean due to our software as a service approach. Uh, we don't have a sales team and consulting team rushing into your office and telling you what to do if you want to work with us. You just integrate our tracking within a couple of minutes. With competitors, for example, the market leader from the US, it takes eight weeks to three months to have their system integrated. Additionally, we are very cost efficient. That means we can cater to very small businesses, small startups, but also to big corporates. You've seen some here on the, on the um, chart. That is something that our competitors can't do because they have a specific structure, specific cost structure, and you have to pay about $100,000 per year to, to use them. Our business model is based on a monthly subscription plan ranging from 200 euros to 1,000 euros depending on how many marketing, online marketing events or customer journey events we are being we are tracking on, on your site. Um, obviously, we also have an enterprise deal for the really big corporates. The market, we estimate it to be 1.35 billion US, uh, euros in annual recurring revenue. Um, we th see a potential of 150,000 advertisers, uh, each with a monthly recurring revenue on average uh, of 750 euros. That includes an average of the big companies, but also the very small ones. Uh, in our favor is that Marketing, online marketing specifically, is still growing, uh, double-digit growth rates year over year. And there's an increasing number of channels. So, for example, Instagram, Pinterest, and uh, Snapchat just joining the game. And we have a highly scalable software-as-a-service approach um, to cater to these 150,000 and plus customers. The team, Ludwig Ostrowski and me. Ludwig is a CTO. <laughs> he has more than eight years' experience in software development, is a big data expert, and previously worked at InnoGames at Jimdo. Myself, I have more than 12 years experience in data science, I built data teams at Sing, Syzygy, and Jimdo. And at Jimdo, Ludwig and I got to appreciate and love each other. And uh, we always dreamt about building a data team together uh, back then at Jimdo. And now we are living this dream. And to continue living this dream and to fulfill our mission to bring attribution modeling, data-driven attribution modeling, to the online marketing world, we are in the process of raising 1 million euros and with that, I'd like to thank you very much for your attention and look forward to the discussion after the pitches. Thank you so much. Danke, Janusz. Also überhaupt, wenn ihr Fragen habt.